Hey Jimny fans, it's Jono, your favorite weekend warrior back again. But this time I'm not going to be talking to you so much about the Jimny. It's going to be more about uh, camping in New Zealand and also what it's like to camp in the rain using a budget tent. Now I know I haven't made a few videos in the past few weeks, but uh, Luna's joined our family. She's a uh, 17 weeks old now and she's a Labrador cross. She's just needed a little bit of time to settle in and a little bit more attention. But now that she's settled in, I think I'm going to have quite a bit more time to uh, film and edit a few videos and maybe we'll even be able to uh, take Luna camping with us soon. Anyway, Luna say goodbye and then uh, yeah, we'll get into the uh, budget tent. This is Jackson, he's a little bit camera shy, but he's also joined us. Hey Jackson, say hello to all the people. Alright, now that I've introduced you to our new family members, I can get straight into talking about what it's like to camp in the rain with the Oz Trails Genesis 4V tent. So I've just created this quick uh, Google Earth image to show you the location of uh, where the uh, Medita dock campsite is. Yeah, so you can take a look here. And this is just an idea of what my site looked like. Hey guys, I'm here at the campsite. I've just been welcomed by the managers, but I'll get them to give you guys a welcome. Hi, Edwin Hi and Pip here. <laughs> welcome to Matatar Dock. <laughs> Cheers. Pip and Edwin were really great campsite managers. I really enjoyed um, their hospitality. So from the site that I camped at, you can just walk a few meters and you'll be able to uh, walk through the windbreak out onto the beach. And this is just a quick view of what the beach looks like. If you do enjoy fishing, it's also quite a good fishing spot. This is a quick overview of what the toilets look like, and if you like a warm shower, you can pay $1 for a warm shower. If you plan on visiting this dark campsite, you can just pause the video over here, probably zoom in a little bit and uh, select a, uh, a campsite. On the inside of the tent, um, just got this area here in the front. So if you're coming in here, you can see that you're inside the tent over here. So with a fly over the top, um, it's all right. So the only problem I think with this tent is that the, uh, the front door area, if the fly is open, the front door area, there's no privacy. So you can see that might be a bit of a problem for some people. Otherwise, if you want some privacy, you can just close the, um, the external door over here and then we'll uh, take a look inside. The tent's quite spacious inside. Just have one air mattress in here in the middle. A queen uh, air mattress does fit inside the tent, so that should be all right. Um, but for now there's just one single. We use two singles when we camp. Um, so there's quite a bit of space on the inside. There is a hook over there where I hang a lantern at night. On that side, there's a pouch over there next to the mattress, which is quite helpful. And a pouch over here. Coming around the outside, um, when I got the tent, I did have one of the tie downs missing uh, on the external. So what I did was I had a spare um, kit, so I just cut it and I made an extra one. The orange is actually pretty good. It's a lot easier to see at night. And you can see that is a window. Um, if you are going to be camping in any um, heavy rain or winds, it is important to make sure the fly is tied down correctly. Otherwise, um, the tent might blow away quite a bit. What I did was I used the original tent pegs for most of the tent. Um, so the original tent pegs worked fine for me. A lot of people say that um, if you're using the original tent pegs that uh, they bend and they don't work very well. Um, there was some hard ground here that I had to use the mallet to knock it through. But I think if you use a mallet and you knock it in correctly, the original tent pegs should be okay. But um, I always carry uh, quite a few different options of tent pegs that I can use if I need them. Because it was raining quite a bit, 
I just used my tarp to set it up at the back of the chimney just to um, try to keep the area dry so that I can have access uh, to the cargo area of the car and I can get through to all my camping gear. You can see in the back of the chimney I've got the back seats folded down just with a few boxes in the back uh, with some camping gear and other bits and pieces. So I know in this video I said I would cover what it was like to camp in the rain in a budget tent. We did have um, light to moderate rain most of the time that I was there. However, there were periods of heavy rain at night and for a 2000 millimeter um, rating, the tent held up pretty well. I wasn't sure how it was gonna do, but I would definitely say that the tent can handle quite a bit of rain. I hope that uh, you are enjoying these aerial shots that I'm using while uh, talking about how the tent held up in the rain. I am gonna do a separate video which talks a little bit about the roof storage boxes and the roof rack for the chimney, but this is just a, a brief overview of the storage boxes. I did get these storage boxes in Australia. They are um, from Anaconda stores. Um, you can see it's got a bottle opener there in the front. If you'd like to use that, you can also lock um, the box closed using normal little padlocks. You can see that I just used normal tie downs to tie the storage box down. That's 95 liters um, that you'll be able to fit in. And uh, you can see what it looks like on the inside over here. So the box is supposed to be weatherproof and this is just a bit of a rubber seal to keep any moisture out uh, while you are driving in the rain. And I can definitely say that it did keep uh, everything inside the box dry. Um, and it made quite a big difference with the amount of gear that I can take with me when I go away in the chimney. We all know that the chimney hasn't got much storage space, so this is definitely something I'd recommend. And that's just a quick shot of the spare wheel storage bag, which I used to throw a lot of the rubbish um, that I don't want to keep in the car. I hope you've enjoyed this video and um, if the tent that I've showed you is something that you'd like to get, you can jump onto the uh, Anaconda Stores website and you can take a look at some uh, reviews to make a decision for yourself. Um, you can also buy the tent at a number of other retailers, but this is where I got it. And if you're interested in the specifications uh, for the tent, um, just dimensions and um, a bit of a few more details, you can take a look here. And here's just a, uh, a graphic illustration on uh, the assembly and what the tent will look like. If you'd like to see more content about the Suzuki Jimny or anything to do with uh, camping and outdoors in New Zealand, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.